the phrase, this is Israel's 9-11 was a powerful phrase. And then you realize it's just exponentially worse than that because proportionate to the population, what is it? Not 9 million. What's the population of Israel? Like, yeah, it's small. And it's, then it's, on, on top of that, it's, it's so much more personal because they broke yeah. into homes, you know, like it wasn't, they targeted one prominent building somewhere that had a high casualty rate. It was that they broke into your house. Yeah. And, and took babies your kids. And, and children and kidnapping and like in front of par parents. I mean, just torturing families in front yeah. of one another. It's, yeah. it's unimaginable. It was inhumane in a way, like barbaric in a way that even I don't think 9-11 was, you know, 9-11 no, I mean, was the building collapsed and killed that many people. And people jumping off of the building, off of the roof of the, people jumping out of the windows of the World Trade Center were extremely, that was kind of, that was right, where it right. really, that was the, that was the shocking barbarism. But this is a, a totally different thing. Going into people's homes you know, terrorizing children, hurting children, hurting babies. I mean, that's another, that's just, I don't even have an a, 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 inhumane beyond, um, you know, it, words do fail me. I have no, I have no other way of, um, of describing the situation or how it made me feel. And what was horrifying about it was really the response I guess I am naive and to some degree I still hold that our politics are not that that screwed up and expected to see only an outpouring of support you know only just at least clear, for the moment at least for at least the weekend for 5 minutes for right. 5 minutes right. right for 5 minutes have some pity on the families who have just been you know, brutalized in this way for five minutes. 